boop 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 beep bop beep bop boop 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 beep zero zero one one zero one zero hello chat welcome on in um press x to remain a machine that's where i'm going i think that's where the future's going so that's where i'm going i don't know about you but <laughs> how's it going welcome on in everyone it is simply stream saturday we have a really fun one planned. I also realized that daylight savings happened. That's right, you save your daylight. Uh, but not for everyone, just for some of us. So there's others who aren't here right now because they're still sleeping, must be nice. <laughs> yeah, I realized that and I'm like, oh, that explains it. Yeah. So I don't know the rules of daylight savings. Um, I don't know who gets it and who doesn't. I think most of like North America got it, right? Like it was just imposed on us, I think. I don't really know. <laughs> Every time this happens, we have this debate and then I look it up and then I always forget. What time is it in Canada? Well, it's a lot of times, many different times in Canada. But where I am in Ottawa, Ontario, it is 11.04 AM, my usual streaming time. But it feels like it's 10 a.m. because my clocks went forward. <laughs> I was like, wait, which one is it? Uh, but some other people's clocks didn't didn't do anything. They stayed the same. You mean Canada is real? No, it's fake. That's why we make up our own time. I was so mad I had an hour stolen from my weekend, right? Like, what the heck? Like, I, I guess I could have started stream at noon my time, but I don't know, you know, I'm just so habitual. Like I look at the time and I'm like, no, but it says it's 11, so it must be 11. <laughs> okay, so the UK didn't get it, right? I think that's the difference. Daylight savings time kicks my butt every year, right? It's, it's very annoying. Spring forward, fall back, yes. That's what I was doing in my head to figure it out, but it took me like, you know, to, enough time to say that sentence to compute, because I am a robot who paints nails, just like, machine we're gonna use today we'll get to that in a second just uh, waiting for people to wake up <laughs> wake up chat <laughs> celebrating my 35th birthday with this stream officially the old lady club welcome on in to the 35 year old old lady club uh, woo that's me that's you it's what you aspire to be that's why you're here that's why everyone's here okay you are all old ladies that's it that's the only people here <laughs> It happened while I was at work, so I lost an hour of pay. Wait, what? But don't you work an hour at the end? Or maybe it was during your shift, really? It's time to sue. It's time to sue the people who invented daylight savings. <laughs> Springs makeup, so excited for the upcoming collection. Oh, oh yeah, we could talk about that too. And shout out to Drew from customer service. Shout out to customer service. <laughs> All right, welcome to the mods, the Menchi gang, everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday. I think this is gonna be a fun one. It could be chaotic, but uh, I do have a real giant robot I will show you on this camera in a minute. But before we get into that, um, you know, I have, I have lots of experience with robots, <laughs> as you recall. Uh, did you see what's going on? Did you hear Holo Taco has a launch next week? In the middle of the week, I know. In the middle of the week, we are launching some crams. They are really, really sweet. <laughs> uh, here, this is what the Holo Taco detectives uploaded in the most recent evidence case file under the detective's desk. And this is their collage board compilation of what's going on. So, you know, I invite you to check out their work. If you're like, wait, what's happening? They will recap you. <laughs> they they will give it to you. Uh, yeah, this is pretty good. This is everything you've seen to date, except there was an email that went out today that had uh, this GIF. Oh, what is this? Is that, is that milky? I think it looks kind of milky. What? Who is she? What did you do with Simply Not Logical? Wild. Anyways, uh, yes, the email confirmed March 20th, which is this Wednesday. So for this Wednesday's stream, we're just gonna paint. 
with the new polishes. I'll do some combo wheels. We'll do some comparisons, just chill and chat. Kind of like how we once did with the down to earth cremes. It's basically that, but not fall. You know, now we're in spring and we're doing, uh, we have some cremes, but we also have one new different type of formula, the milky shimmer <laughs> and a topper, which I don't think you've seen or have you? I, I, I can't remember. <laughs> what have the detectives seen? Yeah, it's Milky Way, right? Like uh, Simply and Illogical 2016 is shaking. You gave me a birthday gift, Christine. It's launching on my birthday. Happy birthday. Would you like some treats? Living in Saskatoon Daylight Savings doesn't happen. Oh yeah, that's right. There's some parts of Canada it doesn't happen. It's right there. I don't, I don't know what this is. Detectives need to clarify. <laughs> I cannot detect. <laughs> you did see this, this deep brownie shade. I think I exposed that a while back during the trends stream, right? Was that the 2024 trends? Well, apparently like dark brown's trending, so okay. In my head, Canada is really small, but I know it's massive. Well, what is wrong with your head then? small letter p <laughs> yeah and batter up we're gonna batter up but if you recall hollow royalty named one of the shades and you saw this prototype back in an email in december during the 12 days of christmas or just after the 12 days of christmas so hollow royalty and hollow swatchers named this one so you've already seen this one. That's like a very pale buttercream, maybe French vanilla whipped frosting on a cupcake, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, they didn't pick touch better. I'll tell you that, <laughs> but some of them did. The unhinged ones picked touch better. Anyways, all this is happening on Wednesday. It's gonna launch in the morning. So the usual launch time that happens on Saturday, except it's a Wednesday. Um, nothing is limited edition, so, you know, you can chill like an ice cream cone, but it'll be exciting to, you know, have the video launch and you can see all the spills on top of ice cream. Yes, we might have desecrated some food. It will look very tasty. Do not eat it. I know I always say this, do not eat the nail polish, but Christine, you are coming out with collections that look like you should eat it. I know. I, I am a hypocrite. <laughs> But anyways, that is happening on Wednesday and then later in the day during regular stream time at 5 p.m. Eastern I will go over it and you know, we can chill and chat and talk about the collection I'll have a mood board and all that good stuff So if you're someone who just likes to listen to the concept and hear more behind the scenes and see some Comparisons and just chill and maybe do some combos then join me later on stream on Wednesday But the collection will launch in the morning I've officially been here for 12 months. My membership is now older than Simply's average viewer's age, which is what, 29 point something, right? <laughs> Speaking of spring, wanna know the perfect polish for a springy mani? Mint Mojito, yes, that is uh, from our doctor procrastination. And uh, she is saying, you know, it's, it's Mint Mojito. <laughs> Doctor's orders. It's not called touch butter, no, sorry. It did not win the vote. This is a democracy, unless I say otherwise. <laughs> Does daylight savings happen on different days for different countries? Uh, yes, yes, I think, yes. <laughs> I don't know, why are you asking me? Do I look like I know? Some of Canada doesn't even get daylight savings and we're in the same country, we are real. Hello, Simply from Australia. It's 2 a.m. so I might have to catch up on VOD. We'll see you in the VOD squad, Christina with an H. Shout out to everyone watching later. Royalty sabotaged us. Yes, exactly. Okay, so all this good stuff and more info, I'm sure they'll collect intel is in the Simply Neological Discord. You can put exclamation Discord in the chat to get the link. And we have a detective's desk, which is photos, evidence only. So there's no chatter in there, but you can just see a summary if that's all you're interested. You just like, give me the recap, give me the visual. This is what people put together. Again, this is from our amazing Discord community members. I didn't make this, they did. So all credit to them with this chaotic board. What is this? Like there's like an empty square. I guess they're waiting for, they're waiting for evidence. <laughs> 
Maybe the bot's not working and won't give you the Discord link, but you know, robots don't always do what you want them to. And now for today's stream topic, grab your tea because we are human and we need tea or coffee to function. That's just how it works. So cheers. I'm drinking um, a tea latte actually. It's lovely. Ben went out and got it. I know there's a chip on my mug, whatever. Don't hate me, but I poured it in here. Robots don't want to work anymore. Yeah, even robots don't want to work anymore. Mm. Okay. This is not sponsored. <laughs> it's my first time. I was a backer on Kickstarter for a male robot back in 2021. Now, you may recall, I've been saying this in my main channel videos for like what feels like 8 million years. Now, that robot is not the same robot that I have here today. That was the nail bot, but that's not what we're doing today. I'm doing a different robot <laughs> because there's so many of them apparently. This robot is called the Nimble. And when I saw it pop up in my feed in, I think it was April of 2021, I was like, give it to me. Maybe it'll come quicker than the nail bot. <laughs> so I bought it and it's finally here. And let me just go through my timeline. So on April 12th, 2021, I paid 394 US dollars and that included like the early bird backer on Kickstarter, extra capsules of nail polish and shipping to Canada. And I was backer number 627 out of over 5,000 people. Just this month in March, it finally delivered. So almost three years later, I got her and she is giant. Since I can't even, like, I, I don't even know how to show you the robot. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I have a macro camera here that you're gonna see, uh, but it, it doesn't even fit in the frame because it's giant. But I'm gonna pull up their Kickstarter page. Again, not sponsored, not affiliated with this company. This is just my first Simply Impressions <laughs> and there's no shade if it's terrible and also no promo, no endorsement <laughs> if it's really good. <laughs> I'm just interested in this technology stuff and you know I'm curious having been someone who's played with robots you may recall I've tested nail printers before which is not the same thing as a nail robot that actually paints your nails I also taste uh, tasted what I'm sorry am I eating nail polish now I also tested a kids nail robot that painted nails that's old, remember that one? Okay, so that's not this, cause this was like $400. This is the adult version, but I will show you their little summary and what it looks like. Um, in real life, it, it feels bigger than this. You know, this scale to person, like, nope, it's definitely <laughs> like feels like twice the size. <laughs> I don't know how to show you how big it is. I wonder if Ben can just take a picture of me and then I can show it to you on stream for scale. Unless she is like the tiniest lady ever. Or wait, does that make sense? No, she must be a giant. She must be a supermodel, like seven foot five for this to make sense. <laughs> is it like Sophia's video? Kind of, but it's not um, that brand and it's not a giant thing in a store. This is supposed to be an at home solution to paint your nails. So let's just watch their video and it'll summarize um, what it is. And again, not sponsored. Don't even, don't even tell them I'm doing this. <laughs> Simple, effortless, and accessible are not words typically associated with perfectly painted nails. This, on the other hand, is something we're all too familiar with. But what if you could get the a flawless struggle. manicure <laughs> at home, on your schedule, and without having to lift a finger? It's not a hypothetical question. You don't lift a finger? Not even to put it in the machine? I'm sorry. The music made me think simply ran an ad. <laughs> this is an ad for it, but no ad, no ad. <laughs> it's Nimble, the first ever smart device to flawlessly paint and fully- Wait, wait, did they just say they're the first ever? They're the world's first guys, wow. World's first. World's first nail painting robot. <laughs> Someone fact check. Dry your nails. Nimble provides salon quality nails from the comfort of your home. With the simple press of a button, Nimble scans the size, shape, and curve of each individual nail, 
calculating the exact amount of polish needed for your manicure. When it's time to paint, Nimble's ergonomic handle gently supports your hand, while a tiny robotic arm seamlessly applies the polish. Each nail gets a base coat, two layers of color, and a top coat. Four layers of long-lasting polish. Could we go to Polish Mountain? That's what I want to know. Like, can you opt for more coats? I would like to hack the robot and have it paint 100 layers. That's the question I would like answered in the FAQ. Thank you. An airflow system is activated between each coat to simultaneously paint and dry your nails. Your nails come out completely dry, so there's no risk of smearing or smudging. Nimble your nails come out completely dry. Now I've turned it on just to make sure like it works when I received it. And it does seem like there's a fan inside, but this is regular nail polish. It's not gel to be clear. And you know, most of us know how that works, right? Like it is an air dry product cause it's regular nail polish. So I'm like, that's a big claim <laughs> to, to be like, it's totally dry. I mean, they probably mean touch dry. Just like, you know, when uh, like Sally says like, you know, like super gel dry manicure and it's like not gel and it's like also not actually dry. <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. Nimble uses healthy, high quality polishes that both protect and strengthen your nails. All it strengthens your nails? That's another big claim to make a nail polish color pigment. Interesting. Nimble polishes are non-toxic, 13 free. It's healthy. You can act, yes, it's, it's very healthy. You take your vitamins and then you paint your nails. <laughs> Cruelty free and are easily removed with regular polish remover. Whether you're looking for pops of color, classics or nudes, Nimble has them all. Our ever evolving yeah, collection. Apollo, of pops of classics, sorry, pops of color, classics or nudes. Do you have hollow? I actually ordered a lot of their capsules. I ordered every single color they have possible because I'm a freak and I have them all here. So we're going <laughs> to look at all the colors. So we'll answer that question. Vibrant Shades is updated seasonally to suit any mood, any look, and any occasion. It looks so small there. It is not that small. It's literally like three times the size. Ben, if you're around, do you mind taking a picture of me with it? and then sharing it and in, in, like just message me on Discord. I need to show people how big it is. This camera won't reach. Life doesn't have to slow down for beauty and neither should you. But what if I like painting my nails as a chance to slow down for beauty? Is that what we're doing? Are we slowing down for beauty? Stop that. What she just put in her purse? What's she stealing? Her keys? Oh. She put her keys in her purse. She's leaving. She's going out tonight. Join us and help bring Nimble to life. Perfectly painted nails every time. All right. Okay. Interesting. Ben, thank you. Please, Ben's here. He's going to take a picture of me. I need, you need to see. Just take a picture of me like right here. <laughs> oh, you want that? Yeah. There's a banana for scale and, and me on it. Is there anything else on your desk? No, just, just don't show that, but everything's fine. <laughs> okay, send that to me in Discord. I need to show people. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, he also had a banana for scale, so that will help. $1.8 million pledged, yeah. So they've had over 5,000 backers pledged $1.8 million. And people started receiving them. I'm one of them. I think I was one of the first to get it because I was backer like 600. <laughs> and that was just this month. So I got it like two weeks ago. Um, but yeah, they have a very long page here. You can see like how long it is. So there's lots of information about the robot, the claims they make, their colors they offer, their little capsules that go into the side of the robot. Uh, more colors that you can buy. I bought them all, you know, just to make sure. Professional looking manicure in just three steps. Keep connected. Yeah, there's an app that you have to use in order for it to work. It doesn't work without the app. 
The science behind the sorcery. A peek inside. Okay, there's the little robot. He lives here. He lives here. And it scans your nails to map it, which is kind of like cool. Like that is cool. Okay. I know we're like being funny, but <laughs> if this is real in the sense that, and this isn't a gimmick, it's just like a green light. If it actually scans the surface of your nail and can detect the difference between a nail and your skin and how long your nail is and how curvy it is, like that's really cool. A tiny robotic arm communicates with complex algorithms, just like the YouTube algorithm, to seamlessly paint your nails while a warm airflow system simultaneously dries your nails. Warm? Wait, you can't, don't be humid now. You're gonna cause bubbles. <laughs> Okay, uh, I got the picture from Ben. <laughs> okay, like, it is huge. It's bigger than me. It is not that small. <laughs> it's a dishwasher size. It's like a mini European dishwasher size. Yeah. And it's extremely heavy. I swear it's like, I don't, I didn't weigh it, but it feels like it's between 20 and 30 pounds, but it's this big. So it's really like, <laughs> I would not consider this an easy thing to move around on desks. Like I had Ben carry it upstairs. I was like, I don't want it. You carry it upstairs. <laughs> and a banana for scale. Yeah. It's not just giant, but it's extremely heavy. <laughs> when I got it in the mail, I was like, wait, what the fuck is this? I was expecting like this size, like the O2 nail printer. It's a 40 pound baby. It could, it could be 40 pounds. It's as heavy as a 40 pound baby. But like, it doesn't look that big. Like it's big. No, it is much bigger than a MacBook. <laughs> I don't believe this. Okay. To be fair, these are probably like their early prototypes or whatever. And then they like, I'm just, I'm assuming I have no idea. I'm just guessing that in order to get to the final product for consumers, they had to make a bunch of upgrades or updates to make the robot work or whatever. And so it, it, it didn't end up looking like <laughs> what the original was. Put your hands together. There's a baby. Can you paint the baby's nails? Would not recommend. Nimble versus others. Nimble, perfect painting at home and on your schedule, done in dry in minutes, convenient and simple, affordable, maintenance free. Home DIY, uh-oh, they're shading us. Hold on, I'm trying to zoom in here. Home DIY is not perfect. No, no one can paint their nails perfect at home. Done in dry in minutes. This is like quite the claim, like a lot. Cause if there's a, the, there, there is a fan in here, but like you could buy fans if you want, you know, at home to help speed it up. I've just found that personally, fans can actually increase the chance of bubbles. Um, so I just let it air dry and take my time because I take my time for beauty or whatever. <laughs> That's the, whatever they said. Is it a, it's a second fridge and it requires second fridge money. Okay, like this is second fridge money, $400 is what I ended up spending with shipping and, and for all the capsules. And that's US, so that's like $8 million Canadian. Do you still have the other nail painting robot? Yes, somewhere downstairs in my pile of a mess. If this doesn't have hollow, I'm gonna throw hands, all right? Okay, so done and dry in minutes, big claim. Convenient and simple, that's not, at home. It is not convenient nor simple to paint your nails at home. <laughs> affordable. Home DIY is affordable. Thank you for the check mark. <laughs> Maintenance free. You have to maintain your home. In order to do, in order to paint your nails at home, you have to maintain your entire house. So uh, that is not maintenance free. You know, you gotta clean your eaves troughs. You gotta water your plants. You gotta a WD-40 your hinges. Uh, yeah, nail art printer. See, they make the distinction that their product is not a printer, it's a painter. But printers, which we did use, if you recall, in the last two robot videos I made was called the O2 nail printer. And they printed a picture of something. And it was very clearly <laughs> like printed. You could see like the dots print. Remember, I printed a picture of my beauty guru face on my thumb. 
All right. That's a big team. Made with love. In 2016, Nimble creator and founder Omri was waiting for his date. He waited and waited and waited some more. Finally, his date arrived, profusely apologetic. Wait, what, what am I reading? For being late, what? The reason, her manicure. Oh, she was just trying to get beautiful. <laughs> Beauty takes time, okay? She left her salon appointment before her manicure was completely dry, resulting in ruined nails. So she had to run home to try to fix her brand new smudge nail polish. Really? Like you would stand up your date? Maybe she just didn't like you. Like, <laughs> like what? I would be like, okay, whatever, it's smudged. I'm so like, wait, what? This is fake. This is not real, right? There's no way this is a real story. <laughs> like what? Unfortunately, fixing the problem only made it worse. She ran out of time and was forced to give up. Oh my God, the horror. Removing the salon manicure altogether. This is so frustrating. My nail polish is ruined. I'm not going on a date anymore. <laughs> this sounds like something a man would write. Or chat GPT. Maybe a robot wrote this story, maybe. When Omri heard all about this nail drama, a light bulb went off. What if there was an autonomous manicure device that could quickly paint and dry nails? Okay, th thank you for it. I'm just, is, is this a man? It, it appears so, but I, I don't know, but like, interesting. Thank you, please solve our problems, men. <laughs> like, what is this? He thought. Oh, it says he. Duh. And so the early concept for Nimble was born. A device that could hack the nail industry by providing efficient, accurate manicures in a quarter of the time it usually takes. By the way, that late date, she is now, they're married. Okay, so they had to corroborate on this story to make it legit. It's just like Cinderella. We love a good love story. Specifications, wait, does it tell me how much it weighs? 11 inches by 12? Um, no. <laughs> how big does that look? Okay. <laughs> the timeline founded in 2016. Okay, so it launched in 2021. That's where I saw it. I saw it, it was probably like a Facebook ad or something. And I was like, I'll do it, whatever. It's about nails, let's go. Take my money. And then uh, launch website for direct delivery orders. I don't think anyone actually started receiving it until this year, if I'm correct. But from the backer emails I got, I'm pretty sure like they only started delivering them just now. Oh, you're gonna measure it? Ben, please measure this machine. How big is it? Is it 11.8 inches by 12.2? 13 deep. It's 13 deep. Okay, not that far. It's pretty much a square, so 13, 13. 13, 13. How deep? How tall? Or sorry, how tall? 10 and a, 10, ten, and a half. 10 and a half. Okay, so it's 13, a, 13, 10, <laughs> 13, 13, 10 and a half. It's bigger than this, not by that much, by a few inches, but it's also like 30 pounds. <laughs> Do I have our luggage scale? Do I have our luggage scale? I don't know where it is. Somewhere in the mess downstairs. We just measured. <laughs> Risks and challenges. We've been developing it for four years. La da 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 da. Okay, let's just uh, let's just get to painting. Paint me, robot. So I have macro camera right here. I'm gonna turn it on. Important question from amateur nail art. Can you get empty cartridges to use your own nail polish? If you can't use Holo Taco, it's not worth it. So I looked that up in their FAQ and the answer is no, you cannot. You can only use their product because it is developed to work with their robot, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure you could hack it though. Maybe I wouldn't put like a thick glitter in. I'm, that would probably fuck up the robot, but that's just my guess. Okay. Um. So I have a light here and I'm gonna take it off. 
This is like the entry portal. The entry portal to the robot. It is macro shot because the top of it is just like kind of boring and white. Like there's nothing to see up here. It just has the brand name. But I wanted you to be able to see in because when it turns on, there's lights in here. So that's what we're gonna do. So, hold on. I'm pressing, I'm powering on. Speak. Uh, when I tested it to turn it on, it took like 60 seconds to turn on and it takes like five minutes to do anything. <laughs> but it tells you to be patient on the app. It says, be patient. The robot is thinking, okay? Robots need time to think too. So I'm gonna open the app, but I just have to wait. Okay, a different light is flashing on the top of the box. Are you risking your main hand? Absolutely not. I am painting my other hand. Oh, there's lights on. It's alive! Can you kind of hear it? I'm gonna mute the music. It just sounds like when my computer takes off when I'm editing a lot of footage, you know? It's just like a consistent Hello, it's nice to meet you. Do you know someone named Connor? Would you like to remain a machine or become human? Which one was that? <laughs> okay, I think it's on and it's probably stopped making, making sounds. So I'll take the mic back. Um, let me just move my water. <laughs> Before I put my hand in there, and by the way, I'm using only my other hand. <laughs> Because if it kills me, then I'd rather take my other hand, okay? And not my good swatching hand. So this is the reject hand. She has crooked fingers, shorter, weirder nails, eczema, and you know, a few more dents. But I, I don't mind if you take this hand, just don't take my good hand. Thank you. So I'm, I'm naked and prepped, but I'm gonna show you now the colors, because the next step is to put in the colors. So I ordered every color they have. <laughs> and it's a capsule system. Like this. Little capsule so we can see the colors. Let's see. Okay. So a lot of them are just cremes, but I'm looking for anything that's not a creme just to see. So this is called Twilight. It just looks like a dark burgundy creme. Uh, amaretto, that looks orange. Not the color of amaretto, the alcohol, which I love. I love amaretto alcohol, like on ice, oh, delicious. Okay, this one's called Wednesday, which I was not expecting. Oh yeah, Wednesdays we wear pink, duh. Um, Paloma, just like coral. So far these are like kind of basic. Crush, okay, basic. Um, Labyrinth looks like a very dark ox blood. I, I like that one, personally. How many more pinks and beiges? I'll take them out of the package so you can see too, but this is just easier. Oh, this one's also called Labyrinth. Wait, did I just pick up the same? Yes, I did. Same pile. <laughs> okay, we got more, we got more. Don't drop them. They're tiny vials of glass. <laughs> I fucking 
drop it. Okay. Ooh, purple. This one's called Rain. Purple Rain, I guess. <gasps> this is what I was looking for. This is called a Shimmer Top Coat. Is it hollow? I kind of think so, but let me, I'm gonna pull that one out. Wait, it didn't say anything about doing a top coat. Do they think this is the top coat one? Okay, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. We will answer all these questions later. This one's called tarot, like a light purple. Um, this is more of the shimmer top coat as they call it, but it, it doesn't have anything on the back. So I don't know. Maybe they sent me to. Maybe they know who I am. I hope not. <laughs> don't watch this. <laughs> this is called po Poisidon. Poisidon. I don't know how to pronounce that word, but I know what it is. And that's like a minty green. More shimmer top coat. Why did they send me three shimmer top coats? This one's called Waterfalls. Don't go chasing waterfalls. This one's also called Waterfalls. Why? Okay. Why? And one more. This one's called... Wink. I guess for Periwinkle. Okay, let's, let's open them. I'm gonna open one of the color ones just so you can see what a creme looks like. And then I'll open the shimmer top coat because we have to investigate that one. Pardon me. I don't have a robot assistant who can help with like putting things away. <laughs> when are they gonna make those? A robot producer. So here, this is Shimmer Top Coat. Don't worry, I'll get you on the macro cam too, but let's just take a look here. Sorry, it's a little blown out because the light's right there. And this one was Waterfalls. So it's just like cardboard with three vials each. And from what I've read, you know, the standard ones are like, one's a base coat, one's the color, and one's a top coat. And it's just like a tiny little, does it say how much? Like, it looks like, just like two, two milliliters. It says three times three milliliters. Three milliliters, milliliters. Can it do marble? I don't think so. Robots, another 10 years. So here, I will show you on this camera. There you go. Top, color, and I'm assuming, yeah, base with a little cartridge, cartridge system. And here is the shimmer top coat, which is hollow. <laughs> that is hollow. It looks like scattered hollow, if we're gonna compare it to something, which is the kind of smaller silver holographic hex particle in a clear base, as opposed to flaky or linear. This is a scattered hollow. It is hollow, but they called it shimmer top coat. Like literally missed opportunity. Look at this. Look at this missed opportunity. Shimmer top coat, bruh. You played yourself. Could have called it hollow. <laughs> okay, how do I paint hollow? So there, that's the tour. So I'm using an app that you won't be able to see, but you know. There, there's an app for that. Just says, hi, Christine, we're doing things. Uh, ready for flawless nails? Begin manicure, yes. Success, you've set up your nimble. I did this yesterday to make sure it actually worked. Otherwise that would be, uh, that would be a bad stream. So they have this thing called a practice manicure that it's forcing me to do before I do anything else. And I, I did half of it last night just to make sure like it was working and I thought it would let me just quit and still think that I did the practice manicure but it didn't it it's too smart so now I still have to do a practice manicure whatever that means 
<laughs> like, I think the difference is, is that it just continues to give you a guide and a how-to, which is fine. So we're gonna ready to practice. It says, FYI, the practice manicure will take approximately 50 to 55 minutes. I can paint my nails in less time than that. Let's do a race. <laughs> Nimble placement. Place your nimble on a flat surface with enough room, blah, blah, blah. Good to go. How this will go. You'll learn how to insert your capsules. We'll guide you on how to insert your hand in the device, blah, blah, blah. Got it. So it says, practice manicure for, here, I'll just show you what this screen says. Four coats, one base coat, two color coats, and one top coat. Limited colors available. Comes out 75% dry. Oh, that's not 100%, bruh. <laughs> With built-in fan. Oh, they're changing it. They're changing their claims. And now I can see underneath that I'm not allowed to select because they're like, you didn't do level one, bitch. You can't go. But see how there's signature manicure and then express manicure 20 to 25 minutes, but it won't let me select it because it's forcing me to do the practice. I'm not ready yet, they said. They said Simply Nailogical is not ready yet. Happening now, preparing your nimble. This can take one minute. That was loud. What does, hello? What is this? <laughs> Did you hear that? I don't know if the mic is picking it up. Okay, you heard it? Okay. I'm scared. <laughs> Wait, you're saying I gotta put my hands in that? Where does it go? <laughs> what? Love you, why are you saying goodbye to me? <laughs> Sounded like a sewing machine. <gasps> Don't stab me with needles. Okay. The annoying thing though with the practice manicure is that it says you must use one of the below shades for your practice manicure. Like I don't have a choice. You must use one of these. It won't let me use the shimmer top coat, no hollow. Ugh, that's annoying. Wait, I don't even have all of these, what the heck? Okay, I guess, you know what? I should use Wednesday just cause it'll be the most obvious. Why can't I practice with hollow? Uh. <laughs> Why, like, I don't even understand. What's the difference? Can I just hack the system? Can I just put hollow in? Will it notice? <laughs> Will the robot notice? Okay, let me find Wednesday. You know, maybe it's not a bad idea to do a bold, simple creme so I can actually test it because just painting on hollow with their shimmer top coat may not, like you can't really properly evaluate its ability to paint on your nail. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is a bossy robot. Okay, relax. You must use one. <laughs> okay, let's use Wednesday then. I think the bottles are coded. Yeah, maybe it has to recognize it so it knows. Stupid robot. Okay, I mean, smart smart robot, don't kill me. This is Wednesday, but at least we'll be able to see like how well it does, so that's not a bad idea. Um, got it, next. Give all capsules a solid shake. You're not supposed to shake your top coat, but okay. I love bubbles. <laughs> Place all capsules in drawer. Should be open. There is a drawer on the side. I'm gonna see if I can show you. See? There's a drawer where I had the ones I was trying yesterday just to make sure it worked. So I think I have to remove these. This was just like a random color I didn't care about. 
See, I'm taking these out. And I gotta place them in. Does the order matter? It doesn't say, uh-oh. What order can I put them in? I think last time I just guessed and it worked. So let's do that again. Get into your little bed. Get in the little bed, baby. Little, little, little cute capsule. <laughs> it's bedtime. Okay. Uh, done. Press the capsule button on top to close it. I mean, I could have closed it myself. Like. <laughs> Yeah, it's like changing your ink cartridges in your printer. It's the same thing. Except this is not a printer. Happening now. Happening now. Happening now. It says, we are calibrating your nimble. While your nimble is calibrating, let's ensure your nails are prepped. Are your nails clean and polish free? Yes. Have you shaped your nails? Yeah. Are your cuticles pushed back? Always. Have you removed all jewelry? Oh, do I have to take off my earrings? FYI, this can take five minutes. Okay, what do you want to do for five minutes? Tell me a story. It's it's doing things, it's thinking. The robot needs time to think. Let it think. Go pee now? <laughs> I already went pee. <laughs> What is happening? I don't know. It says wait five minutes. Happening now. We are calibrating. Oh, it's doing something. Speak now. The light's on. But nobody's home because it's a robot. What was that? I'm sorry. Sounds like it's playing piano. <laughs> Paint my banana first. Who's in there? Anybody home? Is Connor there? It sounds like a, a scanner, like a, a scanner from seven years ago that just takes so long to scan one document. Still calibrating. Remove your jewelry, everyone. Take off your earrings. Take off your necklace. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could remove your nail polish during this time. But I came prepared for the robot. Yeah, it's a fax machine. Maybe it's faxing me my prescription that uh, apparently pharmacists still do in Ontario for some reason. Is that my prescription? <laughs> it's a fax machine. Sounds like it's playing me a song. I mean, it kind of makes sense that it sounds like a scanner because it claims it scans your nail beds to find the perfect fit. Yeah, is it an all-in-one? Printer, fax, nail robot, prescription sender, document producer. Can I make fake IDs with it? That'd be cool. 
I mean, that's illegal. Don't do that. But like, it might be cool to some people who like illegal things. You know what I mean? Just something for everyone. I don't know. Multi-purpose robot. What if your nail beds are curvy? Um. Where did you go? <laughs> my nail beds are very curvy, so we're gonna, we're gonna see. Okay, it says, you're all set for your practice manicure. Your nimble will scan your nails. Oh, does it scan your nails and then remember you? So it doesn't have to scan your nails every time? What if you have a second person use it? It'll scan your nails, then paint a base coat, two color coats, and a top coat. From start to finish, this will take 50 to 55 minutes for both hands. Oh, sister, I'm only doing one hand, okay? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Nimble, just one. Will it do your toenails? Probably not because because <laughs> this looks like it's meant for fingies. I'm ready. Master hand and finger placement. Get a feel for your nimble. Place your hand inside the top slot of your nimble. <gasps> Do I have to? Notice there is a hand rest. It came with this. It looks like a like a carrying case for my ear earphones. At the end of the finger grooves, there are bumpers. Yes, there are bumpers. Spend some time getting a feel for the hand rest and what the placement feels like for your four fingers and thumb. How do I do my thumb? Hello? Don't forget the thumbnail. You'll never make it on YouTube. Ah. Okay, the next page there's a picture. And you're only supposed to do your four nails at first. Okay, so here's a picture. Oh, I forgot. I'm not on auto focusy. Here's a picture. Okay, that's that's me. That's what I look like inside the robot. I kind of wish it was clear. You know what I mean? Like, please be like the the OG apples that had a clear back so you could see with like colors. You could see the insides. I would like this, but clear. Yes, thank you. Next edition. And also, can you make it more like eight pounds? Thank you. <laughs> it's $700. It is. I paid $390 something Canadian with shipping. But I guess I was early. Maybe they sell it now for $700. I don't know. Okay, practice inserting your thumb. Okay, so for the thumb, they say you just go like this. So you just flip, you do fingers and then thumb. It says you can use either of the two middles, okay. Insert hand, please place your hand in the nimble. <gasps> we should get a good before and after, okay? In case I die or get a finger severed. Sorry, my, I switched my, eh. Before, before the robot, remember these hands? Yes, they have some natural imperfections, but beauty takes time, apparently. <laughs> I'm still waiting. <laughs> Okay, insert hand, adjust arm placement. Spend some time ensuring your arm is in a comfortable position. Feel free to use the support bill of blah, 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 blah. Each set of four fingers will take 19 minutes and each thumb will take eight minutes. It takes eight minutes to paint your thumb? Really? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Press the middle button on top of your nimble to begin. <gasps> I'm scared. The button should be solid white. Okay, there's a button up here. I'm pressing. Ah! It squished me. Oh my god, I'm very squished. Like, I don't even think I could pull my hand out if I wanted to. 
Happening now. We're scanning your hand. It's time to scan your, your hand. This is a threat. The less movement, the better. It told me to stop moving. It said, be quiet. Shut up. We're scanning. This feels like an MRI. You know what I mean? Where you're told... <laughs> Maybe some of you know what I mean. You know when you go for an MRI? Uh, you're not allowed to move. They're like, do not move. Stay still. And if you fuck up, you gotta do it again and then spend another 20 minutes and like... Your eyes wide open, you're just like, fuck, don't move, don't think, don't breathe. That's what's happening. Stop resisting. Are they stealing my fingerprints right now? My identity is being uploaded to a cloud. MRIs are loud as fuck, so is this. <laughs> Maybe this is an MRI machine. What's happening? It just says we're scanning your hand. I can hear it like a scanner. It's doing choo 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 choo. I think it takes it, it takes a long time to scan my hand. It's very complicated. They're making sure that I am simply an illogical. I just realized now they're gonna have my hand on file. I do not consent to using my hand in advertising, just to be clear. <laughs> okay, it sounds like it's scanning. There's there's lights. I think when it's green, does that mean it's scanned? Still scanning, it says, but I don't hear anything. I would freak if my hand was squeezed like that. It does feel like I should be freaking out. It is being squished at the knuckle. Like the thing that's on top of it is kind of soft, but it's also kind of firm at the same time. You're about to get an error. C curves too curvy, cannot compute. Let's see what it says. Deep AI and complex algorithms power your nimble to gather and optimize the information needed. Oh, the screen changed. I don't know what else it was is doing. What does it mean? Blue means I'm a machine. Green means human. The bracing is so unnerving. It, It is. I don't even think I could pull my hand out if I wanted to. Like, what do I do? What if there's an emergency? What if I have to pee? <laughs> I need to adjust my back. Wait, is that per coat? Oh, we're not painting yet. We're just scanning still. Your Nimble uses high speed, high res micro cameras. Where do I get one of those? Happening now, happening now, base coat. It's time for your base coat. So the less movement, the better. <laughs> don't breathe. I don't feel anything. Ah! It just squished me harder, why? <laughs> Ow! What the fuck? I'm- I swear I'm not going anywhere. Is there an emergency button? Is it painful? It's very pressureful. It's not a word, but... It's taking me hostage. <laughs> Help. I am being simply squished. Okay, I won't move, relax. Turn down the music so you can hear the machine, okay. You wanna hear some wonderful machine noises? It wants to hold my hand. Ew. I don't feel anything yet. It's fanning me. It's fanning me. There's a fan that's warm. Ew. Ew. Why is there warm air? Ah. 
Feels like Florida. Are you losing feeling in your fingers? Honestly, a little bit, but I have bad circulation, so. It feels like someone's hot breath. Like there's a person in there that just went ah, ah, ah. It still says base code is happening. So I'm guessing they just like blew air. Are they, do they blow air every nail? Why don't they just paint all four and then blow air? I would love to see it painting, me too. I wish it was clear like an old Apple computer so you could see it, but like, I'll tell you if I can see anything. Warm air, warm air, alert. Stop squishing me, it just went harder. <laughs> Maybe it like knows I'm moving. I see it. I see the robot arm. Don't spook it. I did feel it paint what I guess is the base coat, but I think it's kind of shy. Oh, I feel it. I feel it. It's painting my my pointer. It's painting my pointer. I feel it. It feels wet. A little a little chilly. But that's probably just contrasting with the hot air it just blew at me. They don't want you to see because it's scary. This is true. Just like when you're in an MRI, you can't see the imaging pop up as you sit there. You can only see it after. <laughs> I see it painting my nail. Oh my God. It's moving, it's turning. Oh, it's like this, it's like this. I can't move my fingers, like if I wanted to. They should put a camera in there? Yes, they should. So I could stream it. They probably don't want that. Oh! Lord! <laughs> it just fucking squished me more. Is it getting on your skin? I don't think so. This is still the base coat, so I probably wouldn't really be able to tell that easily. I can see a little robot though, like a little articulating arm. It's like moving around sideways with a little brush. I wonder if it goes back and dips in for every coat. You know, it has to like re-dip and how many dips per nail? Because sometimes I'll, I, when I'm DIY painting, you know, the inferior method of painting nails for beauty. When I'm DIY painting, I will dip in sometimes more than once for the same nail. Just so I'm like, oh, I could use a little more on the brush or whatever the formula is. It's drying. It's blowing. Mods must have a timestamp on when we started because I want an actual figure here. I want an actual time analysis of how long it took from putting in the capsules, maybe. I feel like that's like the right time to start because you do need to take into account the time of like reading the instructions or whatever. It's blowing on my fingers. It's blowing warm air. It's, I think there's a 40 pound baby in there breathing on me. Does its mother know where it is? Ah, oh, stop squishing me. Oh. Is it actually painting with a brush? Yes, there is a tiny brush. Here, I'll, I'll show you carefully, don't move. There's a tiny brush in these capsules and then it pulls the like brush plug out of the capsule and a tiny little robot articulate arm 
uses the brush to paint after having allegedly scanned my nails using complex AI algorithms. And I'm, I'm not exaggerating. There is a lot of pressure on my hand right now. Um, maybe I'll have a mark. <laughs> Now, I'm not like, my fingers aren't breaking, let's be clear. It's not, I don't believe it is breaking my bones. But it is tighter than I thought it would be. It's, it's definitely snug. I don't think I could pull my hands out of here if I wanted to. But I, I won't, because I don't want to ruin my manicure, you know? Because then I, ugh, if I ruin my manicure, then I can't go on a date with Ben, you know? Ben wants to have lunch after this. I can't go unless Nimble paints my nails properly and effectively. There's not an escape button that I can see. I mean, maybe if I press the power button, it would just stop. But I'd like to see this practice manicure through. Okay, see it just lifted up a little bit and then it blows hot air. And then when it goes to paint the next snail, it like pushes down further. So it gives you a little bit of a break while it's blowing you. <laughs> ah, it just tighter. What a considerate Roby. <laughs> okay, everyone's w woken up by now. Welcome welcome on in to all the time change people who didn't have a time change. Uh, we've been doing this for an hour now. It is allegedly a 50 to 55 minute manicure done by a robot that I bought three years ago and received this month. Not sponsored. No endorsement, no promo. Just me and a robot on a Saturday morning. Getting real close. It's clamping me, it's blowing me. This is very intimate. Yet I am streaming it to 2,467 humans. Unless you are a robot. Are you human or are you robot? Paint me closer. Hold my hand. It's blowing. Yes, I bought it three years ago. It just arrived. That's what happens on Kickstarter. Ah, it's squishing. How are you not done, bruh? Like, <laughs> what? It, it's still painting the base coat. I think even like the worst snail painter ever can paint a base coat faster than this robot, right? Like, am I wrong? Let me know. It's still doing the base coat. Okay, wait, wait, it just changed. I, I, as I said that, it said, happening now, color coat. Okay, it heard me, it heard us. It was like, okay, fine. Happening now, color coat. I can't show you my hands in the way. Sorry. I, I changed the focus so it stays on my hands. So I'll just read it to you. It says, happening now, color coat. It's time to paint. So the less movement, the better. That's it. Happening now. Can I see it? I want to see it. Oh my god, I see the pink brush! They make it so hard to see. They don't want you to know what's happening. Is this meant to be slow normally or just because it's tutorial? So this is the practice manicure because I think the app gives you more info while you're doing it, but it's the same time as the normal manicure, which is 50 to 55 minutes. They do, however, have a express manicure that they say takes 20 to 25 minutes. But what I'm doing is I'm gonna have mods timestamp this from the beginning to know like was it actually 50 to 55 minutes i don't know we'll see does the robot need refills yes it does it's a cartridge system i imagine you run out of these and i already looked at their faq it says you can use these for two manicures within 10 days which is puzzling to me because like does it stay open because i'm like that doesn't make sense maybe they close it i don't know i don't know what the fuck is going on in here <laughs> Still happening now? Color coat. 
fear is the mind killer. And yes, we are on one hand, and I'm only painting one hand. I, you know, can't risk, can't risk the star over here. <laughs> oh my god, I just felt it touch me. Oh, I think it went too far on my pinky. I think maybe it flooded my cuticle on my pinky. Or it was just like a really thick coat, and I felt it. It was wet. Oh, oh, it touched me. Oh, it's touching me on my pinky. <laughs> I didn't really feel it before, but maybe my pinky's too small to paint. Disgusting. <laughs> okay, it's blowing me. Blowing. It appears to blow after every nail, which is like kind of why. Like just, just paint all the nails and then blow, duh. Yeah, stop touching me. Happening now, still a color coat. Was that the last one? I can't see enough. They really don't want you to know what's going on in here. It's been painting for 17 minutes. Wow, thank you, Casey. I definitely take less time than that between base and one coat of color. And I'm painting, well, I'm painting one hand at a time. So yeah, that's less time, but this is just one hand so far too. I can see my pinky is pink, so that's good. Do you think it has like, it must have like, however they make blow dryers. I feel so dumb right now. You know how they make like warm air? <laughs> Not a humidifier, but like, I don't know, a fucking thing. What makes warm air? What is the term I'm looking for? You know what I mean? Because it's very warm, so it must have parts in this giant box that produce warm air. Not just a, any regular fan, not just like a fan that spins. But it has some kind of heat, a radiator, heating coils. Maybe there's a Dyson in there. Ah, it squished me again. Electric resistors? I think there's a Dyson inside. Maybe there's a hot plate. Maybe we can put our tea in there. A space heater. Could this blow up? I mean, maybe it scanned my fingerprints, uploaded it to the cloud, and then it's gonna blow up and replace me. It's painting. It's doing my middle finger. Oh, the light is blue there. It's not as obvious on... I just felt it. I just felt it touch me. It's touching me. It's touching me. What order did it paint my nails in? Like, I'm actually confused. It just painted my pinky and then I felt my middle finger. Girl, what are you doing? What order is this? Is this order of nail painting optimized by robots? Do they think it's smarter to skip nails and then go back? Like what? Looks like it's holding your hand down. I don't like it. It is holding my hand down extremely firmly. It's selling my fingerprints Maybe to TikTok. If you see my fingerprints on TikTok, I did not agree to this. <laughs> Maybe it can detect sheer patches? Maybe. Do you think it goes back? But that's like not a good way to paint your nails. Unless it's doing another coat on top. It doesn't say whether it's doing the first coat or the second coat. Ow. It just says still happening now color coat. That's it. Same screen as before. I have no idea if we're on the second coat or the 18th coat. Feels like it should be the 18th coat by now. How long are we locked in for? <laughs> 55 minutes? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> ah! What if you have to pee? Can you bring it with you? 
It'll listen to you pee. In the case of an emergency, could you pick it up and walk away? Absolutely not. It is so fucking heavy and it's very large. It's 13 by 13 and I swear like 30 pounds. The lights do indicate what finger is being painted. So now my pointer finger is allegedly being painted. How does your hand in general feel? It feels like it's being squished at the knuckle. Like I don't like it, if I'm being honest. If you're claustrophobic and you don't like your body parts being squished, I don't think you would like this. <laughs> It's blowing. What about the thumb? I think that's next on the tutorial, but we'll see. This is inspiring me ow, to make my own version for my final year. Can you make it smaller and take like way less time and not squish you? <laughs> is it hot? Yes, it blows warm air at you. Like when a person goes <sighs> on you, that's what it feels like. I think there's actually a person in there. It's painting my pinky now. Why are you going back? Is this coat two? It doesn't say if it's coat two. It's just still happening now. Color coat. The machine is now $600. Is it really? If you try and buy it today, does it say it's available? I can't do anything. My hand is trapped. I can't use a mouse. I'm being held hostage. Please call my family if I don't return their phone calls in the next 55 minutes. List price, $700 on sale for only $600. It's a pre-order. It says to join the wait list. I wonder if this stream is gonna help that or hurt it. <laughs> Uh, I'm not influencing you with anything, okay? Don't watch me. <laughs> this is a de-influencing stream. That's inflation? Well, I, I mean, yes, maybe, but also on Kickstarter, usually the way it works is when you're an early bird backer, like I was, you should be getting a better price. So I paid three ninety four, and that included shipping to Canada, which was like eight million dollars, um, and all the colors. Like I bought more colors than normal. So and that was three ninety four U S. Uh, in twenty twenty one. But it was probably more like three hundred dollars if you didn't buy all the colors and ship to Canada. So I guess they doubled the price since then. Maybe that makes sense for inflation in parts or whatever. I don't know. Or maybe I just got an early bird price. I think that was part of it. Anyways. Makes you feel like a pro if you paint your own nails. Oh, yeah. I'm better than this robot. <laughs> War. Simply versus robot part two. There's a new robot in town. and Simply's gonna get him. I think we, people who already paint our nails ourselves, are not the audience for this robot. Yeah, of course. They market this robot for people who hate painting their nails and think beauty is pain and beauty takes a long time and, you know, you have to go on a date, so you want to paint your nails properly. So you need this $600 robot at home before you go on your date or else your life will be ruined. That's who it's marketed to. And I'm not making that up. That's what it, that's what it says on their Kickstarter pitch. They're not marketing to us, fam. <laughs> it's still painting the color coat. I could give a whole lecture during this time. Is this coat too? Like, I don't know. Oh, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it on my middle finger again. Coat too, I guess. How much savings is that in total versus a nail salon? Good question. I don't know. You can apparently use the cartridges for two manicures. 
I don't know how much the cartridges are individually. I think I bought like a pack of a bunch of them for, I don't know, $80 or something. So someone can probably do math to see if it's worth it and when your return on investment pays off after you spend $600 plus cartridges and how many years it would take for to, it to make you whole. Assuming it continues to work for years and you enjoy it. I looked at some of the reviews on their site and other sites and there are so many flooded cuticles. <gasps> no. Simply, do you like getting acrylics? No. Why would I want that? I like painting my own nails. The natural way, baby. Capsules are $10. Okay, so you get two manicures out of one capsule. So it's $5 a manicure plus $600 for the machine. You tell me how many years it'll take to pay off if you go to the nail salon. And how much time of your life you lost waiting for the robot to paint. Okay, happening now. Update. It literally is listening to me. Happening now. Top coat. We are finally on step three. As you remove your hand, it, it says not to, not to remove your hand. Your manicure will most... Oh, I missed it. It's too quick. It's time for your top coat. So the less movement, the better. You said that. The Nimble Top Coat is designed to protect your color with high wattage shine and up to seven days of chip-free wear. As you remove your hand, your manicure will mostly be dry, but still vulnerable to pressure and scuffing. So please be careful. As is expected for any regular nail lacquer, it's there's no such thing as 100% dry, but yet they made a claim of it being totally dry after this process, and then they changed their mind in the app. It says 75% dry. And this day of a, sorry, this claim of seven day chip free I mean, let's be honest, so many nail companies use this claim and it's never true because it depends on you. <laughs> it depends on, it's not just the application of the robot, which maybe they can control for, but how did you prep your nails? Did you remove all the oils? Did you have cuticles that were sticking up? Oh, it just told me to stay still. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting heated. I'm getting mad. Okay, I'll say still. I will speak carefully and slowly in the same position. I'm sorry. It doesn't believe me. It literally stopped. Okay, hold on. Let me just readjust. I'm sorry. Can it detect my heart rate? I'm heated. Do you forgive me? Will you continue painting my top coat? Please. Oh, 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 I can breathe. Oh my God. Your hand is done. You may remove your hand from your nimble device. Um. Okay, I wasn't lying. Look, look at the marks on my fingers. <laughs> it was squishing me. <laughs> Ow. Okay, anyways. Oh my. There's a menchie hair on one nail. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. 
perfect and ready to go on a date. Oh. And I, listen, okay? I know there's like at least maybe like one person in here who's like a super fan of this product and is now going to blame me for talking. Now, if you expect me to move less because I was speaking, like my body wasn't moving, I was speaking, then you're also saying that anyone who uses this product needs to shut up for 50 to 55 minutes. Like, no, you, you can't tell me that's reasonable. And also look at my fingers. I'm like, <laughs> my circulation is slowly coming back online. Circulation return. Thank you. Do you see the mark? Yeah. I, I did not lie. All right. That's a $700 manicure. How do I paint my thumb? Now what? Now what? Let's, you know, it's going to last four days. Okay. Insert hand. Place your hand into your nimble. I already did it. How do I paint my thumb? It's asking me to insert my hand. No, I would... I'll just insert my thumb and hope that it knows what to do. So I already saw that you're supposed to go like this for your thumb. Press this button. Oh no, here we go again. Ah! <laughs> I don't want to, I know it'll take so much more time. This needs to be included in the time, okay? Because it hasn't painted a full hand yet. Is it dry? Oh, fuck. I didn't test. Here, I'm going to test like this. Hand placement error. Your hand is not placed correctly in your nimble. It won't let me do my thumb next. It's asking for my other hand and then my thumb. Why? No, I'm not painting my good hand. No! Okay, let's let's touch it. I'll give you that evaluation at least. Focus. Focus on me. Okay, ready? Touch the nail. Yeah, it's touch dry. But I mean, I've been sitting here for hours. <laughs> It didn't paint the end of my nail. I think it missed a spot or two. Let's check out the C curve. It did get around some nails, but I do see some spillage, right? Let's check the other side. It definitely missed that nail. It's like, oh, long nails does not compute. It didn't wrap the tip. <gasps> does it not know how to wrap the tip? Oh my god, big flaw. It doesn't know how to wrap the tip. How will it stay on for seven days, chip-free? It missed one whole side of my pinky. It was just off. Look, it painted like my pinky off. This nail is probably the best painted, but I got a menchie hair. That could be my fault. <laughs> the middle nail is flooded cuticle, and this one's also flooded and didn't quite reach the tip. Anyways. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Okay, I want to paint my thumb, but it doesn't, it's not going to let me. Like, look, I'm getting this like hand placement error. Your hand is not placed correctly. How do I paint my thumb? What if I only want to paint one hand? Is that not an option? Like it tells me the instructions for the thumb, right? Like I know that it, I was putting my thumb in the correct place, but in order to do like the next step, it says insert your hand, not your thumb. So I think it's expecting you to do both hands, four fingers, and then each thumb, which is strange if you ask me. 
Because I don't want to paint my other hand, my main hand. Hell no. <laughs> so I don't think I can complete this manicure. Can you skip a step? No. I tried. I said I'm ready and then I just gave it my thumb and then it did not accept. Ben's nails are still painted with the manicure that I did DIY style. You know. The inferior way, the DIY way. Can you put a fake hand in there? Well, I have Edward, but he's currently wearing a thousand coats of nail polish. There is no way to bypass it. I keep saying like, here, what if I go back, back? How do I paint only thumb? I'm ready, let's, let's force it. It just keeps saying insert hand. Here, I'll try again with my thumb. Accept me for who I am. Oh, squish me. <laughs> Probably paints the, both thumbs at the same time. So no, it paints one thumb at a time. You're supposed to do this and then take your thumb out and then I guess do the other thumb. Paint the same hand again. I guess we're gonna have to do that. And then we can, yeah, sure. We could do that and then effectively simulate doing an entire manicure. Hold on, let's see if I hacked it. They're scanning my th thumbprint, uploading it to the police. Oh, it's scanning. What about people with one hand? <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I, I don't think you can override this. It's saying, no, this is the order the robot paints in. It doesn't have code written any other way. It says it's scanning, but I think it's going to reject me because that's what it did last time. You know, for a fancy 30 pound robot, it takes a long time to scan. Like scanners are pretty good these days, you know? It's like scanning in 2002. Okay, there, did it work? Can't do an accent now. Yeah, with the logic we've seen from this robot. So it says happening now, base coat. Yes, we hacked it, we hacked it. Okay, we can restart the clock. Got it, got it. It's working, it's working. Oh no, it says there's a problem with your finger. <laughs> I'm not kidding, that's what it says. <laughs> There's a problem with your finger. Uh, no. It doesn't want to paint my thumb. Oh shit, it's painting my thumb. Wait, what? It doesn't even know what it wants. It's painting my thumb, it's painting my thumb, it's painting my thumb. It's painting my thumb, but maybe it thinks it's a finger. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The robot is doing what it wants. It's blowing me, it's blowing me, it's blowing me. Don't move. What does the red light mean? That it's mad? I think it's mad at me. Or it's gonna self-destruct in three, two, one. Mm -hmm. 
it's what I said it it's blowing me there's hot air inside of this 40 pound robot and it blows hot air after painting every nail happening now color coat it's happening it's happening that's what the app says I think the green light means that's the only finger detected. So it worked. At first it wouldn't let me. It was like, no, insert your hand, ma'am. And then it was like, fuck, fine. Okay, we'll do your thumb. But there was no clarity on the app of like, actually, I would like to do my thumb, not my other hand. Thank you. Ah, oh, it's squishing me. Even though that's happened like 12 times now, it still gets me every time how much it squishes me. I can't wait to see if any gets on your nail. Hear that, robot? They're very confident in you. Ugh. Getting an MRI is faster, okay? Happy Simply Saturday. So excited for some cookies and cremes next week that you will have to paint yourself. I'm sorry that what we're launching on Wednesday, um, you have to paint on your own. But you know what? On the bright side, I don't think it'll take this long. <laughs> ah, it's painting. It's painting me. It's painting me. The robot is touching me. It just, it touched my cuticle. I can feel it. It flooded my cuticle. Okay, it let me go. I can breathe a little bit. It's blowing me, it's blowing hot air. So that was the color coat. I don't know if that was one or two coats. I can't tell, everything is a blur and my hand is squished. Painting your own nails and always improving is empowering. Also, the comments I get are so nice and everyone thinks I had them done in a salon. Yes. The makers of this robot don't care or think or acknowledge the people who find nail painting fun, relax, relaxing an expression of creativity uh, or like any anything other than trying to be beautiful to go on your date with a boy. Again, I realize it was not made for us people. It is not for our people. I know that. It is for normal people. <laughs> but it's still kind of like wild that, uh, let's assume this is for people who aren't like us, who like spending time painting nails and enjoy it. Think of a normie like putting this what feels like 30 pound giant box that you can't really move around because it's so heavy box on their desk and dealing with all of this. I don't even think a normal person would have the patience for this. I think they would rather just go to the salon. Never mind that this is $600 currently. Let's say it's a normal rich person, okay, who doesn't care that it was $600. Even them, I feel like, would rather go to a salon so they have someone to talk to and not a robot yelling at them or have a manicurist come to their house or on their private jet if they're like Taylor Swift level rich, you know what I mean? Where is the human connection? A normal rich person is gonna go to a classy salon for sure. Yeah, right? I don't think so. I mean, okay, a normal rich person might buy this out of curiosity. They, they might be like, oh, that's fun. It's a fun toy for, for mommy, you know, in my New York apartment. And then they'll use it once 
And then they're like, oh, I didn't like it. I couldn't figure it out. It, it needed an app and I couldn't connect to Wi-Fi or, okay, whatever, I'm being mean. <laughs> but like, maybe they're like, ah, okay, it's, it takes too long, you know. I have things to do, I have calls to make. And it didn't look that great. You think they're ever gonna use it again? Like, probably not. So that was just $600 to buy. My mom's boss has her manicurist come to her house. Okay, nice rich boss there, rich boss lady. See, that's what I would assume. If you're like a rich, normal person, who doesn't wanna, I say normal, not because you're rich. I say normal in the sense that you don't like painting your nails, you're not like us, but you just want someone else to worry about painting your nails because you think it's a hard chore or a task. Then yeah, if you're rich, I feel like you would just pay for someone to come to your house or go to the salon, that's it. And I'm not sure this is a solution, but then again, I can't really identify with the normal brain who hates painting their nails. So what do I know? It's still painting one nail. How long has it been painting my thumb? Now, the difference between this and painting your own nails, which uh, I will just acknowledge, is normally when you paint your own nails, you do a step per nail and then you move around your digits. So like I'll do a base coat on one nail and then a base coat on this nail and then a base coat and then a base coat and then a base coat. And, base coat. and by the time I circle back, then I'm doing my first coat of color. And as you paint through your 10 nails, if you paint all 10, it's starting to dry. So by the time you return to finger number one, you've had more time for them to dry, right? This robot isn't doing it that way. Like it's painting my thumb with a base coat, wasting time to make it dry so it can put on a color coat instead of when I DIY, I'm optimizing my time by doing base coat on everything and then returning and doing coat one on everything and then returning and doing coat two, right? So this is actually less efficient because it has to wait before it does coat one then coat two while it holds your digit hostage. It's been nine minutes on one finger. Yeah, it's poor at time management. It still says happening now, color coat. It's cheaper to have a manicurist come to you. Well, it depends how many times you use this thing. Someone can do math. Mediocre Manny says, one, it's too bulky. Two, it's too expensive. Three, it's too slow. Four, the results are not great. Overall, not worth it in any capacity. I mean, did you see my nails? Do you want? Do you like it? Would you like that? <laughs> then again, over 5,000 people purchased this. So I'm interested to see the reviews come out. I will not be reviewing this product. This is not a review. <laughs> Don't watch me. <laughs> ah, it's squishing. Squishing on me. Oh, stop squishing me. Ah. How many of those 5,000 people are content creators? Good question. Because I was like, send it to me. I will make a video. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say that, but I bought it. I'm like, oh, you know, I could use this in a video. So yeah, I wonder how many people are doing that. It's painting. It's painting. Happening now. Top coat. Top coat. We are finally doing the taco. Oh, I feel like this is taking longer than the nail art printer robot. Yes, I, I agree, absolutely. The printer robot, which printed ink on like a white surface. I'm out, I'm out, took way less time. Your hand is done. You may remove your hand from your device. Is that a hair? Oh my God. Guys, give this video a big thumbs up. And 
I am squished again. This is a line from being squished. <laughs> oh, finally I can breathe. I feel like my circulation is coming back. <laughs> I'm coming back online. Okay, let's take a closer look. Sorry, I'm putting my thumb like behind me. It's not very ergonomic for my cameras. Focus. Bruh, you missed a spot, but then you also managed to get over the sides. There's like a little hair on the end. It could be my hair or Menchie's. It's all in my cuticle. I definitely felt that. And can I just say like the creme itself, the pink is a very nice color. Like, okay, one point for the robot. Um, but it's actually not that opaque and it did two coats. Now maybe it's not trying to be a super opaque creme polish, but it isn't very opaque because I can still see like my visible nail line, which is fine if that's like the look you want. But it's it's not as opaque as I was expecting based on the colors and the marketing, which kind of just seem like they're they're opaque advertised. Okay, vote this. It's worse than me doing my nails. It's worse than I thought. It's not okay. This is not what I was expecting. Yay, I paint better than robots. I think the coats are uneven. Dude, that's a bad job and a bubble. <laughs> and a hair. That was a bonus. Looks like Ben did it. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like Ben could beat this robot. That would be a fair competition though. Me versus this robot would not be fair. Okay, I acknowledge that. Yes, simply brag. But I, I actually do think Ben could beat this robot. Such a waste of materials. My, my offhand is a thousand times better. It hurts to look at. Man versus machine. I don't know, Ben, do you think beauty is pain? You gotta do this before you get ready for your date. Test the easiness of removal. Test another claim. Let's do that because I would like to take this off. But first, let's get a full pose and another what do you think? Because I did that prematurely. Okay, ready? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? It looks pretty good, no? Okay. There's like a hair on my thumb. Okay, and I'll, I will touch it again. Let's touch it. Let's touch. Oh, this one feels more tacky. I guess because it's fresher there. See, I just left a fingerprint. <laughs> Which is normal and expected that if you just paint your hair, your hair, if you just painted your nails with regular nail lacquer and even if you blow on it with some hot mouth, you know, for like a minute, you put a top coat on that's quick dry if you touch it immediately after, you're still gonna get little indents, so you shouldn't do what I just did. That's normal, so don't advertise otherwise. Stop it, nail companies. My eight-year-old does better than, does a better job. Boo to the robot. Silly Munchkin's child does better. Can you pull the hair out? I will try. Oh, I just put my hair in. <laughs> I just gave it my hair. Okay, there, I pulled it out, I pulled it out. We made it better. Let's give you this view. I'm giving you an ugly pose for an ugly job. $1.8 million. You tell me what they did with the money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't want to be like too mean. I believe that these robots cost a lot of money to make. I really do. Honestly, I know we're, we're being funny and silly because we're all nail painting experts. We don't need a fucking robot to paint our nails. Uh, but I, I believe it based on like watching through and then they like wanted to hide it from you. But like the articulating arm and all that looks 
looks kind of cool. It really does. It looks cool and it looks like that costs money to make. <laughs> I believe that. That's probably why it also needed to be super heavy and much larger than anticipated because they have to fit robots in there. Now, I don't know anything about robots other than testing some over the years as a regular consumer, but I believe it that this was expensive to make. Now, is it perfect? No. <laughs> But maybe if you look like from far enough away, like, does it look good now? What about now? What about now? Now it did a good job. What do you think? $600 Manny? Was it worth it, Buzzfeed? <laughs> Give it another three years, maybe like 10. It's better when we can't see it. Clean up the cuticles and add a crackle taco, and that could save it. You are absolutely correct. That's how we would save it. It's still overpriced for d the job it's doing, yeah. It's like when you hire um, a retired person on contract, and uh, they're just way overpriced, and they're like barely working, because they don't want to, but they just want money. That's what this robot is. <laughs> it retired mentally. It was like, I'm not really here, but I will take your money. My cat can do better. Look at this bot. Even this bot is saying other things. You missed what Ben said. What did Ben say now? Did he delete it? Did he say something? Did he tweet and delete? I can't find Ben. Can you send this monster back or do you have to live with this mini fridge? I don't think you can return it and I'm not going to. I'm not that kind of a customer. It's fine. Oh my God, Ben, what did he say? Oh, look, it literally doesn't go back that far. Sorry, unless Ben says something else, then I can find it. What? I can't see you, Ben. Ben had a special comment, it's gone. He has to say something again so I can pull up his history. <laughs> it's a giveaway. We could do a giveaway. Such a cool light. Wait, where, where is that? It's disappointing. I was actually rooting for it. I'll give my money to Hollow Talk. <laughs> Rather save $600. <laughs> for a lifetime of Hollow Taco. You could get into ro Hollow Royalty for less than this robot. He said, you're so beautiful, it's painful. Who, me or the robot? <laughs> Actually painting my nails is part of the enjoyment for me. Yeah, that's this group of people. But I also acknowledge that there are people who don't enjoy painting their nails that this in theory could work really well for. They're like, that's a solution for my problem because I hate painting my nails. But is it a solution? Okay. Um, what were we gonna do? We were gonna test taking it off. I said, be, be bit my bottom, now my bottom's big, I'm sorry. You are so beautiful, it's painful. Are you hitting on me? <laughs> I'm beautiful now. Now we can go on a date, okay? Would you, would you pay for dinner with this manicure? I don't know if I'm worthy. I might have to pay for dinner with this. <laughs> okay, let's take it off and see if its claims stand up which is that it removes easily with nail polish. Now, prediction, I think that's true. I think this easy, this removes easily because <laughs> it's just regular nail polish, a couple coats. I don't see why it wouldn't. I'd be shocked if it didn't. That would make no sense to me as a nail hobbyist. But let's, let's try. Oh, I'm gonna need to put this back there. Um, ben, are you available? I need to put it back here so they can see me remove my nail polish. 
I could take a quick pee break. Oh my god, look, it's it's bubbling. It's it's moving. It's What's what do you happening? think? What do you think? Just kidding. Do you see at the top of the the ring finger and the middle finger before it cuts off? It's like they're it's like coagulated, kind of. It's slightly coagulated, like there's like a texture there. It's like it's kind of curdling up. Does that make sense? I I don't think I've ever seen that happen. <gasps> you know what it also could be? I'm just I'm just guessing based on my knowledge and experience doing this for eight or 10 years is maybe the top coat they use actually causes more shrinkage which means it starts to shrink around the edges, causing the color you put underneath to kind of um, shrink up. Now, you're not gonna see it around the cuticles because we fucking painted over those. But towards the tip, where they definitely left an edge, it's starting to shrivel inwards, which could be because of the top coat, or it could just be the formulation of the color coat. I don't know. That's my best guess. But it looked better like 10 minutes ago, right? But now that the top coat is actually more fully drying, cause it'll take like 20 to 30 minutes, usually in my experience to like fully air dry with a good top coat, then you would start to see some shrinkage. So I think that's what's happening. Warm air will do that to you. Yes, Christina with an H. So as I was thinking earlier, I'm like, wait, why is it blowing warm air? That's not what I would do. Warm air can create more humidity, which can cause, cause bubbles in the polish as it's drying, just like paint, just like painters, you know, if you paint your walls, will not paint when it's humid or they shouldn't because it's gonna get like, like bubbles and shit in it, okay? It has to be like normal room temperature and usually not with a fan drying on it as you're painting. It should be like after, but not too much. It's kind of like a sweet spot and you shouldn't just blow directly super close to paint because then you're literally blowing the paint like this and putting bubbles in it. Now, I'm sure they went through 8 million tests to make sure that it was fine, but my first hunch was like, wait, why, why are you blowing warm air? That seems like weird. If any air is being blown, it should just be room temperature air would be, I think, fine, like, maybe. So don't use a hairdryer on your nails? No, do not use a hairdryer unless it's like a, a cool setting. But even very forceful air, I would not recommend. Like, hairdryer level is like too, too much. Just like a small little fan is fine. But I generally don't recommend using a fan at all while you're painting because you risk bubbles being formed in between the layers. If anything at all, after you're done your manicure, then yeah, you can whip out like a little uh, personal handheld fan or whatever, but not like hair dryer level. That's just, you're gonna blow it like this. Okay, I think if Ben's able to come upstairs, we can, my nails are drying. You know, I can't screw them up, so I can't move the camera. <laughs> but I just wanna put it back on my table so I can show you the removal process. So we'll do that and uh, stay right here because next up, we're gonna take off this robot's manicure, but I'll run a little ad for uh, for the robot. The, the robot is running an ad right now. You tell me what it is and I will BRB. Thank you. 
this goes under the desk, right? I'm going to plug you into the system. <laughs> Be right back. We are changing the camera angles. This is a live show. Hey, Ben, you want to put your nails in this thing? No. <laughs> he said no. Do you trust me more than the robot? He said yes. <laughs> would you date me with these nails? I would date you and the robot. You would date the robot? What does that mean? Oh yeah, we gotta move the 40 pounds. Okay. Well, this is in the way, right? Or is it in the way? Please hold. Um, so normally it's over here. No, no, it's here. It's definitely out here. Yes, I'm 100% sure. It's like this, yeah. Yes, it does, but maybe, um, I think that's just make it higher. Just, just, it has to come out more. Like wrap up, get the tip out. Yeah, yeah. And then make it go up. Yes, it was. I'm no, telling it you. Was not. 100% it was. So. It was low. It was lower on all sides. Yeah. I guess it was lower. But it was still as close to the desk. And I have this. I just realized we're still in the solar system. Dang, because I'm dying to know how it fails on removal. I actually don't think it'll fail on remover. You, you know why? Because I'm gonna do it myself. The robot doesn't remove your nail polish. It only paints. So we will, if you believe in me, then you believe I can remove this. Ben's doing engineering behind the desk right now. That's definitely further than it used to be, but here. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's not plugged in. I gotta here. Plug it in, plug it in. Oh, because I need to remove it. Turning the robot off. Turn off. It turned off. Wow, there's peace. Is this on? Um, yes, but it will probably take a minute. Or is it on? Yep. Yay! Okay, hold on. Let me just move this. There we go. We're back online, everybody. Back online and feeling fine. It's fine. It's on the way. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. All right, here, here we go. Let's do another close up. I 
I said, <laughs> let's do another close up. Why is it? There we go. Do you think the robot could do pedicures? In the FAQ, it says no, it doesn't do feet yet. I'm scared. Hello, Mac. I saw the Holo Taco advert showing the new mayo polish. It's mayo and cookies. Thank you for putting up with my questions. <laughs> we we just gave it to you, Mac. There you go. You you get mayo. Okay, what do you think? It's giving middle school. It's so ugly it won't focus. <laughs> it should be illegal. Wow, you guys are roasting this. Okay. Don't leave a review on my behalf. Let's look at the thumb. I don't think there was any single nail that was painted well, if I'm being honest. Like, this one I think is the closest, but like I was saying, look at the tip. See there's like weird coagulation shrinkage going on. I also see that on the middle nail and the pointer. And I didn't touch anything. It doesn't wrap the tip of your nail, which is kind of critical for keeping your manicure on. Is this any better than the kids nail painting toy that I tested in 2015? <laughs> do I need to find that? Oh my God, I'm, let's do a comparison. Robot versus robot. Okay, so if you do recall, all of the videos I've made about robots. This was the very first one, eight years ago. Hello everyone, it's me, Christine, and I've got a special friend with me today. It's a robot. Uh Okay, let's just go to the end and I will show you because what I think is that this nail painting robot, I just wanna show you how this worked because it's very similar. Into the robot portal, play mode engaged. All right, now here's the test and see if it's gonna fuck up my color club nail polish because I will kill you if you screw with my hollow. See it dips in the robot arm and it has an articulating head. <laughs> Shut up, look at that. You just robot came. On yourself. Are we ready? And yes. then it are we yellow? Yeah. Painted the nail bed. This is a kid's toy. Children's toy Continue. from eight years ago. Continue. This robot can't paint a straight line. How hard is it for you? I don't understand. Pick up that mess you made. Okay, I'm honestly giving up hope. You should have And let's look at the final. Because surely even a child child can paint better nails than this. I mean, what do you think? Okay. Is it better? What's the Delta when you take into consideration the cost? I think this toy was like $30 versus this robot was like 600 retail today. You let me know. But I do think that Maybe these kids' toys actually inspired Mr. Robot over here. You know, maybe it wasn't that story about a date <laughs> and women needing to get their nails done before they date a man. Beauty takes so long. It's bleeding edge technology. I would be interested to see how it gets better over time, software updates, AI learning, yada, yada, yada. Well, now that it has my fingerprints, sure. Let's do a poll. What year was this? 2016? Holy shit. Uh, there you go. Now, I don't think asking which one did a better job is fair because you're not controlling for cost. So which one is a better value <laughs> is the most fair question. <laughs> for reference.
Wow, was it really that long ago? I know, it was eight years ago that I painted with this kid's toy and then I painted the robot. Should I do that again? Should I paint this boy? <laughs> what, you gotta look pretty too for our date, giant 40 pound robot. Okay, I'm gonna get my stuff. We're gonna remove this now as you vote. Acetone. Isn't it wild that like it does all this stuff for you, you know, in 55 minutes or less? I'll, I will fact check that with the mods timestamps. Thank you, mods. Shout out to the mods. But then it doesn't remove it for you. So like you also have to do work, you know, just saying. Nobody wants to work anymore, okay? Not even this robot. <laughs> Let me get some stuff to remove that's over here. Cotton pads. And some q-tips and actually before I remove I'm gonna take some pictures for Instagram <laughs> I'm gonna take it with with this giant robot And the banana, the banana's in frame. And my hand on it for scale, cause it is literally fucking giant. And let's get a good close up, 3X zoom here. So you can analyze it for its, its quality paint job. I'll post these in my stories later. Okay, we've documented. How long did that take? Did the mods give like an update summary? I don't know, maybe I missed it. I feel like it's been two hours. I mean, it has been two hours since I started streaming, but we didn't start immediately. Wild, wild. It's the wild west out here. Okay, let's take off this nail polish by ourselves. We have to do it. Unfortunately, the robot will not do it for us. It took 51-ish minutes for one hand. So what? That means it would take like two hours for both hands. Do you have time for that? I mean, I do. I like to spend my time painting my nails, <laughs> but still, that's crazy. For this job, bro. My pet monkey could do better. Okay. This is really good nail polish remover. It is maximum strength, so it'll work. That's my prediction. It's kind of like thicky. It actually feels kind of different than like a normal nail polish. Like, okay, I wanna try and explain this. See how it kind of folded over onto itself? Now, yes, I am acetoning it, so it's gonna be weird. But it, it kind of did that on the tips anyways. It's kind of folding over. Almost like, this makes no sense because I'm not a chemist, I'm just guessing and making shit up, but let's just make shit up. Almost like the polymers, when they, it gave the first layer, it like it, did another one and now the polymers like the plasticizers are like layering over each other does that make sense i don't know <laughs> it makes sense in my head are you gonna ask for a refund no i'm not that kind of customer i don't care it's fine i'll be okay but if you were a normal person who purchased this and you did not like the results then yeah maybe you would but i'm i'm not aware if there is a disclaimer 
I wouldn't be surprised if there was that's like no refunds from Kickstarter because like the whole point of Kickstarter is you're you're backing someone so you don't get your money back because they needed it to invest the 1.8 million dollars into making these things what are you gonna do with it now you bought so many colors don't remind me fuck I'm fucked I'm gonna sell them on eBay Oh, hot new nimble colors, shimmering top coat. Um, who wants it? We could do a giveaway. I don't know what you're going to do with them because you don't have the robot, but you, I could give you these capsules. <laughs> uh, who wants them? Here. They're hollow. Therefore, value. Is this similar to the machine that Sophia tried? I think so. The clockwork? Now, I haven't tried that machine. I, I believe it's in like some airports. I haven't tried that, so I don't know for sure. But based on watching her video with like the articulating arm, having to sit still and that kind of stuff, I think it's possible that it's a similar like technology, but like, I don't know. I'm sure they probably respectively claim that they're better than each other. Are any of the other colors potentially more opaque? I mean, I guess you wouldn't know unless you tried, but uh, do you have another 55 minutes to paint one hand? <laughs> 75 minutes is the true time, I'm pretty sure. There you go. Thank you, Casey. It only takes me an hour to do a regular manicure on both hands with products from Hollow Taco. Thanks to using a quick dry taco. Are you an ad, Christina? <laughs> yeah. I take my time when I paint my own nails because it's kind of relaxing and I want to do a nice job. And it's just the process is why I like painting my nails. I understand that not everyone relates. Some people are more impatient. I get it. But I guess I use it as like a me time experience. And I like to do, I like to listen or watch things as I paint my nails. So maybe I'm listening to a podcast or I'm half watching a show or I'm watching a stream. How many of you are painting your nails right now, right? Well, you have me suffering here, getting my hands held hostage. I hope this was good entertainment for you while you paint your nails at home, you DIYers. Maybe this robot will work better with short nails. That's a great observation, silly munchkins. It does occur to me that in all of their ads, most of the ladies in their marketing have short, like more normal people length nails, like more average. Um, so maybe it is optimized for nail length that's shorter, but it did say that it, it uh, you know, could adjust to your nail, so. These, my nails aren't that long on this hand. Like, that's like, not that crazy. <laughs> other people in the chat are like, shut up, this is very long. <laughs> this is kind of long for my other hand right now, but they're not that long. It's not like false nail acrylic length kind of long. Let's uh, finish this. Which nail ro robot is a better deal? Kids Robot 2016. There you go. <laughs> Guess what you're getting for Christmas. All right. And there you have it. I successfully removed the nail polish. It was not difficult to remove, but there's no reason a creme polish with base and top coat should be difficult to remove. Like. I don't even understand. Their claim is, didn't need to be made because it's kind of moot. Like, well, yeah, it removes easily with nail polish cause it's nail polish remover. Cause it's nail polish. That's just a creme. The only reason why I, or like Holo Taco will include that claim is when it's a nail polish that you don't expect to be easy to remove. So anything that's sparkly, sometimes the average customer doesn't realize that it, it like there's a difference between a chunky glitter and a regular glitter. People know that a chonky, thick glitter with larger particles, they are harder to remove. That's just, it is what it is. You're not changing that unless you use a peely base or whatever. 
But our linear hollows are also sparkly. So some people who maybe don't understand the difference between polishes, we might say that line, like easy, easy to remove with nail polish remover on a linear or a scattered hollow because people don't realize, they just think it's a glitter, but it's not a glitter. So it is easy to remove. So yeah, like I've used that language, but I use it on products that the average consumer who's maybe not as educated on all the different formulas might think accidentally that it's hard to remove. And we're like, no, 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 don't worry. It's not though, cause it's a linear hollow or whatever. But this is just like mostly cremes. So there's no reason why this shouldn't be easily removable with regular nail polish remover. Like I don't understand. It's a claim that didn't need to be made. They don't even advertise the hollow or uh, shimmering top coat on their website at all. Like I barely see it. You only see them showcase the cremes, which makes sense to me because the cremes are easier to see, you know, on camera. So I'm not saying, you know, like it makes sense, but because they're, they're mainly just advertising cremes and then they say, but it's easy to remove. Well, like, yeah, it's easy to remove. Okay. Try using the polish straight out of the bottle. <gasps> Let's do it. Okay, that's a good idea. I'm gonna open my robot. Can I, can I open you? It won't let me like open the little side portal, eh? So I can't go back and get the pink, but let's see if I can open this guy. Can you pop the tops off? That's what I'm trying to do. Ah! Jesus, that came out so easy. Sorry, I screamed. I screamed like the robot when he squished me. Here, should we paint this thumb? Paint over one coat chrome just to see. See, look, tiny little baby. Actually, you know what? Let's do a real test. I'm gonna paint it on a swatch wheel and I'm gonna find a color that is kind of similar. What does this one look like? Red will be easy to tell and then we can test their hollow this way. I feel like this one is more like hot take than left on red. Yeah. Okay, let's compare it to hot take. Just for consistency, I just wanna see like how it paints, right? There's no reason this shouldn't paint fine using this. You know, I can be a robot. I can be an articulating arm. Okay, painting straight from the capsule. that human painting skill. That's actually fine. Like the formula looks fine. How'd you fuck up so bad, man? <laughs> Look, a human painted that. Can you believe it? Okay, now let's do hot take. It took seconds for a human to do that. <laughs> now I didn't blow on it, should I? Don't do that. Okay, now let's paint beside it. Now we're painting with human nail polish, not robot nail polish. This is Hollow Taco left on red. No, it's not. It's Hollow Taco hot take, sorry. They are very close. Hot take is slightly oranger, but. A human did a better job, question mark? I think it's the hot air that caused the odd dried look on the nail. I think so too. But here, I'm gonna use their top coat just to see. Also, you can't seal this, right? Like, 
like it it doesn't go back in the plug only goes one way or actually you can seal this sorry i'm lying don't listen to me i'm talking shit but it's kind of nasty i guess it plugs it and that's why it says you can use it twice over 10 days But does the hot air in the machine get to the product in the bottle? Because, like, you would not want that while it's open. So I don't know. Is it plugging it every time? I don't know. I can't see. I have no idea what's going on in here. So let's grab their top coat. And some hollow. <laughs> I'm just curious. Here, I'll put the hollow on hot take just because I want to see what it looks like. But I'll use their top coat on their red. So here's their scattered hollow. Now there was nothing in the practice manicure about putting on a topper. I wonder how long that takes. Probably add another 27 minutes. First, let's top coat theirs. That one says top. I'm gonna open it carefully. Oh. Yeah, these are not meant to be used by humans. Okay, but just observing the nail polish without a top coat, like it dries, you can tell that it's drying down. So the same as my product you can tell like just by the reflection of the light it's a little more satiny so it looks like normal nail polish that was just one coat looks fine what's the pink combo on your other hand oh it's literally just different one coat chromes over top of what's being released on wednesday <laughs> it's not a man you want to recreate trust me okay now i'm going in with the robo topper Okay, it applies fine. I didn't have any problems. What's wrong with the robot? <laughs> Let's see if that bubbles up or does anything weird. I, again, I don't think it's gonna do anything weird. I think it was the hot air blowing, personally. So now I'm gonna paint hollow over hot take just cause I don't know, I'm bored, okay? It's not really an experiment, just a curiosity. Wow. Yeah, that looks like a scattered hollow taco denomination of hollow topper let's get in a little bit closer wait should i <gasps> that's how you have to dry it okay so looking at the one on the one without the hollow that's just the robo's product now, if in 10 minutes I see a little bit of shrinkage, I'll let you know, but I don't see any. But again, I think that that shrinkage that you saw in my pink nails was caused by the hot air that they blew every single time. She's basically doing free consulting for this company. Do not consult me. I refuse to be consulted. <laughs> I'm sure they know, like real talk. I'm sure the robot people know, or anyone who makes literally anything that content creators might review, that content creators are not always people you wanna to listen to either because they're not normal. <laughs> content creators, and I'm, I'm not saying like I do this all the time, but I'm saying it is pretty, 
pretty obvious, pretty known that content creators sometimes are dramatic, they exaggerate things. They're not always doing the review because they're coming from a place of like meaningful customer feedback, like in a review section on a website. They're, they're making content and that's just what they do. Okay, so it's sometimes more entertainment angled. Sometimes they're more of the trashy nature, like they wanna trash the product. I don't mean the person, I mean like they, they like to trash and that's, that's what they do. Um, I've always come at it from the more entertainment angle. Like, I just like, are you having fun? Can I tell a joke? Is this fun? Like, that's what I do. Although this is a live stream, so it's clearly different than when I made short form videos. Not short form, but just tighter videos. But yeah, I don't even think listening to content creators is the way to go. That's my advice. Do not listen to content <laughs> Don't listen to me. <laughs> I think you need to listen to normal people. We are not normal people. You need to listen to real customers who use your product, not just for this, but for any product. Don't listen to content creators. <laughs> Fire us. <laughs> you, not that you hired me, okay? Because this was not sponsored. I'm seeing if I can expedite any shrinkage. I would like to confirm my hypothesis that it's not gonna do shrinkage on the wheel because there's no hot air blowing on it. Um, but I, I think it might've been the machine. Press X to remain a machine. You have the HT resume to back it up. Yeah, but my nail polish brand is about you and your experience too. It's not about like getting a robot to paint your nails so you don't have to think about the process. No, I want you to think about it. <laughs> I want you to think hard, sit down at your desk, pay attention, it's time to paint our nails. <laughs> so we have very different uh, brand mission statements. I want you to enjoy yourself in all the combinations. This robot does not want you to have a good time, okay? It wants you to sit still, shut up, stop shaking, or you will get an error code. <laughs> All right, well, how many thumbs up should we give Mr. Robo? <laughs> Zero? You can give them some really good feedback to help them improve, but why? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, do they want to pay me a consulting fee? Like, I don't think so. So like, why am I, why am I doing that? <laughs> Nothing for free. One sock, no thumbs, 1.5, a squished one. One, since the polish itself is good. I mean, I don't know if the polish is good. I literally painted one swatch. It's hard to say, but I'm not seeing any shrinking. It's been like six minutes. Do you see any pulling? Sometimes you'd see like a tiny little bit of like a shrivelly wivelly. Oh shit. I am seeing a shrivelly wivelly. Wait a second. Okay. Just let it air dry a little bit better. It's not that hot in here. Is there a shrivelly wivelly? Did we speak too soon? I thought it was only inside the chamber. Hold on, hold on. Give it another minute. <laughs> yeah, not the shrivelly wivelly. How much did you pay for the extra polish? Um, I don't remember. D just rich content creator things, okay? No, <laughs> it was three years ago. <laughs> I didn't pull up my bill. But I remember it was three ninety four dollars for everything. Um, I think it was like high 200s just for the machine, but then like also a lot of money for Canadian shipping. So I don't know. Somewhere between 60 and 90 maybe. But someone already looked it up and said it was $10 per vial and you get two full manicures per vial. So that's $5 per vial. So let's look up close. Don't look at the scattered hollow one. That one doesn't have a top coat and whatever. But what I was looking for. Okay, look at the light reflection. Sorry, it's not focusing. 
I want to explain what I mean. Do you see the reflection of the light, the brightest light there? See how there's like a rippling in the base? There. Do you see the gentle, sorry, it keeps doing weird things. It keeps wanting to focus on a different section. I'm, I'm gonna just fix the focus. Hold on. Getting in real close with a manual focus so I can show you what I mean. Thank you for your patience. Give me a sec. Sorry, <laughs> I gotta move the light now. Okay, it was on this side, I could see it right here. Okay, do you see the brightest light there? You see how there's rippling? That is, it's hard to say whether it's the base color or the top coat, because I have both on. My hunch is that it's the top coat that is doing shrinkage, where it is shrivelly wibbling. And I painted on a nice, generous, even coat of top coat. I know how to apply a thick coat of taco, come on. But it's doing that shrivelly wibbly shrinkage thing. Maybe it's the brush, I don't think so. Because once you coat thick enough, regardless of the brush, like it, it settles. It looked fine and clean and clear and glossy. Like I didn't notice any of this and you can kind of tell. In real life, it's easier to tell just looking at it. But yeah, now I'm seeing it start to shrivel after like 10 minutes cause it's actually drying now, like it's air drying. So I don't, now, okay. Maybe the shrivly wivlies on my pink nails was um, being amplified or exaggerated by the hot air. Like that I do believe as a non-scientist here. But it also based on this, where I didn't have that hot air blower, I think it could also be the top coat and or the color itself that is more of the shrinkage variety, which is a an issue in some top coats. Not all top coats are created equal. Humidity is something also that can cause shriveling but I am in a controlled area. I paint my nails all the time in here. There's nothing different about the temperature or humidity in this room. <laughs> so this is a controlled climate experiment for that reason. A non-scientist, but you're Christine the science queen. Yes, as a, yes. I mean, that is real. That is definitely not a joke. I am a science queen. Go grab a hair dryer for science. Sophia, oh my God, did I miss the robot? You missed the robot. It painted my nails, but I already took it off because it was so bad. <laughs> you know, the robot took like 55 minutes to paint one hand. And we've, I think, concluded that it not only did a bad job, but also the product shrivels and it, it blows you. It blows you with hot air. It clamps you down. It held my hand hostage. I could not move. It yelled at me to stop moving and it didn't want to paint my thumb. <laughs> and it also weighs like 40 pounds and it's this big. It looks small here, but um, here, let's show Sophia the picture. There she is at home robo. It's not the same one that, that you went to cause that was like in a, you know, in a physical location to replace your manicurist. This is supposed to be an at-home salon manicure. It blows hot air. Did yours blow hot air at you? I would need to know. I can't remember if you specified that. It's a leaky blow dryer. Well, it has a robot articulating arm, which is cool. Like that's cool. What is Ben doing now? If this robot blows you, it might be worth six. Also, it was $600 in today's market value. I paid uh, three, no, what did I pay? $400-ish three years ago, and I just got it this week. <laughs> How long did it take them to make this robot? 
It tells you right here. Where does it tell you? Right here. 2016, founded. First prototype, 2017. Launched on Kickstarter, 2021. That's when I bought it. And then 2024 is not on the map, but that's when I got it. No, the clockwork robot is not airy. It is like a syringe full of polish that descends on your nails. So is it like this? Like a little capsule? Because it like plucked this out. It had an articulating arm. And then it painted with like a robot. All in this giant white thing. My finger bones are broken now. Yeah, I'm suing. It's not there anymore. We already took it off. But I had like red marks on my hand because it was like squishing me so hard. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> and that's what I meant by content creators are dramatic. <laughs> I was not literally going to die, but it, it was very clampy. The clockwork one. So that's the one Sophia used in her video. Does clamp you down, but it's not hot. And it kind of dispenses out the polish in like a spiral. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. So yours was like... Mine was like, that's the difference between our robots. Yeah, yours wasn't a brush, it was a needle. This was a brush, like literally, like I can take this out and paint with it. And that's what we were doing on the swatch wheel, just to check the formula. It looks like it just took my blood, you know what I mean? Like when they take vials of blood. Anyone else? <laughs> like, that's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, it was very handy for a robot, this one. It's getting nice and close and intimate. All right. I'm all bought it out today, you know? It's been a long, like, two hours of trying to get this robot to work. My last question is, will it ripen my bananas? Because that's something I, I would really like. I, I would also, hello, I would also like my money back. I know I bought it three years ago during a Kickstarter, but 1-800-CUSTOMER-SERVICE, um, uh, hello? Yes, this is simply an illogical call. <laughs> I'm wondering, actually, I don't want my money back. But do you mind making a donation to charity for $600, which is today's rate for this product? Yes, thank you. Please donate to... Um, uh, women's services or not women's services a any service who has people who would like to paint their own nails DIY for DIY supply thank you <laughs> and now I insert the banana and see what happens Bintendo we got you a banana shirt from Omega Mart <gasps> what about me Can we get a shrinky winky update? It's the same. It's the same. All right. Um, anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Thank you to the mods. Thank you to the members. The next Menchigang stream will be on, not, not tomorrow, but the following Sunday. I will get you the date. Oh my God, the app scared me. It still thinks I'm about to insert my hand. No, I'm, now I'm gonna delete this app for my own safety. I think my fingerprints have been uploaded somewhere. Where? I don't know. Uh, the next Mench Gang stream is March 24th. I have an update for you guys on some things we discussed last month. Thank you, Leah, for the gifted membership, Mench Gang. And I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your weekend. Be careful out there, robots are watching. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on Wednesday after the launch of our new Cookies and Crumbs Hollow Taco stuff. And I'll see you all later. Bye.